Happy freaking Friday! I mean, week two, you can call it Happy Hat Friday. I don't know, I've had a different hat on from last week. But I have these, I don't know why. Every year I've collected like little hats. Um, but back to the cooking. Today, we're going to do Freaky Deviled Eggs. Something that's a great appetizer you can bring. Super easy, inexpensive, quick, and get really creative with decorating them to freak out people a little bit. We're gonna make some uh, googly eyes and then we're gonna do some cute ones for kids, uh, pumpkins. Our tray is real simple. Uh, the big trick here is gonna be the food coloring is how we're gonna change them up. But we're gonna get eggs boiling and make our mixture. We got the good paprika from Hungary. Um, and we're gonna do, one is gonna be a roasted pepper stuffed egg and the other one will be a traditional egg but it'll be green with an eye and this will look like a pumpkin. So a lot of times in kitchens, there's a big debate about how to make the most perfect hard boiled egg, or the most perfect poached egg. I have the answer for that. Um, so you're gonna take the pot, put the eggs in there with room, warm te room temperature water and boil it for 12 minutes. Set a timer for 12 minutes. 12 minutes is up, shut the pot, let the eggs sit for three minutes. Drain, rinse with cool water and your eggs will be perfect jello yolk. Not overcooked, not under. Perfect. Me. So I took the bullet and I just drained a um, small jar of roasted peppers. You can make homemade peppers, but it's going to get mixed with the yolks, so I mean it's not that big of a deal. I'm just going to zap these so that it becomes like a puree. That's when I put the egg yolks in to make the filling and they'll be orange. So, well, it'd help if I plug it in. <laughs> Done. I let them rest and they're going to fill with cold water. We're going to peel them. The goal is I want to keep them, uh, some of them nice and smooth and some we're going to put in a zip up bag in the shade with the food dye. But to peel the eggs cold will help the skin separate from the shell so you get that nice shiny egg and you don't pull a lot of egg white off. So the first thing we're going to do is going to be the crazy eye. So the hard boiled, we don't want to peel these to make sure to my face is not coloring in here and then I'm going to take hold on my water so the eggs and these are gonna sit for around 15 minutes seal them and the flatter they lay and have a couple minutes of little air in them we'll just turn them around we'll start on the other eggs while these marinate First thing we're gonna do is the crazy eye. So these were just the hard boiled eggs. What you wanna do is we're gonna use a Ziploc baggie and I'm gonna use blue food color. You can use green if you want or purple. So we wanna open the bag up like this and we wanna take the eggs and smash them around, putting them in the bag. So in essence, you wanna tap it so the shell breaks but you don't wanna crack the egg. So maybe that's all of them. And you guessed it, we're gonna put the dye in there. So the dye dyes the egg around and still through the cracks, it looks crazy. Then we'll peel them. Um, so it's two drops of food coloring to, I think it's a tablespoon of water. So it really couldn't get any easier than this. I bought the chives, taking a pair of scissors, these are our little stems. And like I said, the paprika, we're gonna put in a little sifter. Okay, that's up. And we're just gonna tap it over our eggs. Love the wooden board look. You can put on any kind of platter you want. And then we're gonna use these little pumpkin stems. Super easy. And there we go. Pumpkin eggs. Okay, so this is gonna be our like kid friendly, like you wanna go to a party with the kids. Not scary. We're gonna cut the eggs. These are ready to be peeled. We're dropping the yolks into here. And in the bowl, I just have a little bit of salt and pepper. So what I'm gonna do is take all the yolks out. And in a traditional um, deviled egg, you use a little Dijon. But for this, I use roasted pepper. So like you saw me do in the bullet, I um, drain them now so the water separated from them. And we're gonna add this. Whoops 
into our egg mix, and that's what's going to give it that orangey color. And then in a separate bowl over here, you'll see I have some um, chives for our pumpkin stem. And then, like you saw earlier, I have the Hungarian good paprika, and that's going to dust them to make them look. Here we go. So I'm just filling my eggs. Hold on, I got a little chunker. There we go. Freaking egg. Hold on, get a little chunker, just push on it. So, fill me eggs up. Hold on, there's just this one dang it piece. There we go. Okay. Filling our eggs. Make them look like little pumpkins. Um, you can take a wet paper towel or a q tip and wipe around the edges so they look nice and clean. Here goes the bag. Go, one more. I'm just gonna pat it down a little. Finish up the filling. This is a little shiesty. All right, I'm gonna clean them up now. So everything's in the bowl. I put around a tablespoon of uh, mayo as well, salt, pepper, and the roasted pepper puree with the yolks. I'm using a fork just to kind of mash it together. And I'm gonna use a Ziploc. Uh, you can use a piping bag. Actually, I might have a piping bag that might look nice, but I don't know, Ziplocs are just easy enough. Um, and just so you guys can see, I made a perfect arbor all day. But see the orange color that's coming to it now? Um, I wouldn't suggest doing it in the blender. It takes a little bit more time to do it with a fork, but it doesn't get watery and like really overly mushy. Um, I still want it to have the taste of that one. Clean that off. Very good, actually. And with the spat, do the same thing. So we're going to open this up. Drop that on in. I like the Ziploc because it's easy to clean up, honestly. I'm not going to lie. It's like a one, two, three process. We're gonna get everything to the corner and we'll pipe them out. So they've been sitting in our blue dye. What I have is a bowl with a little bit of water for my hands. Um, you can use this for gloves if you want. If not, I'm gonna risk it right now. And we're gonna peel these eggs. And as you can see, how pretty they are. Look how cool that is right there. So we're gonna peel all the eggs and we're gonna cut them in half like we did with the other ones. Um, is it just food coloring? It's not gonna hurt anyone. It's gonna be so cool. Oh my god, oh my god, I should do this with red next time and green eyeballs. Egg yolks, Dijon. Don't want to sound repetitive. Same concept. We're gonna mash it all together like this. And from doing the pumpkin ones, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna go a little bit more so that we have no chunkers this time. And it just passes smooth. Um, okay, so in this bowl, just while I'm doing this, I can kind of talk to you guys. So pimento olives, I love the red with the green. Um, so I thought about two different things. I'm gonna half food dye, half not. We're gonna use a pimento olive as the eyeball because you have the red part. So I'm gonna mash this, get in a Ziploc, and I'll start piping. So I filled these eggs with the yellow, which is the yolk. But if you wanna get a little crazy, we're gonna add some green. Um, so. Um, so we're just going to add the food dye to the egg yolk to make like a nice green color. And we're going to pipe that out. I think that looks kind of alien-ish. I like it. Um, Alright, let me get this in the bag. So I actually used the same bag that I had the yellow in because I wanted to give it some color texture. And look at that. We have yellow and green mixed together. There should be enough because there's all the yolks plus other liquid. It's just a little difficult. So, as soon as they're all filled, then you want to take your eyeballs, push them right on in. For your googly eyes, I think the pimento adds all. I think black olives too that we had used um, last week or the week before when we did the mummies. So, now we have creepy eyeballs. Eggs. 
right, there we go, finished product. Two types of deviled eggs for any kind of party.